Hello. Thanks for everyone for tuning in to another drum playthrough review. Welcome back. My name is Nikolai. I'm a drummer and a multi-instrumentalist, and the reason why we do these videos is so that way we can take the technique from drummers who are better than us, review their content, analyze their technique, and make ourselves better musicians. And this is going to be just a slightly different, different vibe that we got going on today. The internet is certainly a very strange place. It's got a lot of strange things on it, and it's got a lot of cool things on it. And what I think is funny is that, you know, there are some people that have made their living on the internet, you know, just making videos and stuff like that on YouTube, kind of like I'm trying to do right now. They do things like play video games, you know, make funny videos, just talking about things and whatnot, you know. I'm sure a couple of the greats come to our, come to our head when we think about that. You know, when it comes to all the YouTube gaming content, I'm sure we can think of a few guys, you know, like PewDiePie, Mark Markiplier, Jacksepticeye. I'm sure that you guys are probably thinking, okay, I see where he's going with this. There is one YouTuber, though, that's out there. He's one of the legends. We just mentioned him, Jacksepticeye. Apparently, back in the day, he used to play in a metal band. And I think that's kind of crazy. He used to be a drummer, which is also kind of crazy. Apparently, this happened a couple years ago. I don't know why I didn't see this. He had gotten himself a drum kit, an electric drum kit, and was practicing again after a couple of years of being away from the kit. He then later posted a cover of an Avenged Sevenfold song, Unholy Confessions. Now, here's the thing. I'm not a huge Avenged Sevenfold fan. Never really liked them never really listened to them a whole lot, and I know a few of their songs just because they're the popular ones that are out there. Seeing as how this is the only few drum covers that he's got, he's got that in System of a Down, and I'm not a huge System of a Down fan. I figured we might as well check out the Avenged Sevenfold fan. We might as well check out the Avenged Sevenfold cover because there's going to be some more techniques on there that we can break down that'll be a little bit more uh, our speed and being a little bit more into the technical death metal side of things, you know, personally. Yeah, Mr. Jack Septicai. This is kind of a strange thing to say. We're doing a drum review of this man. So yeah, apparently this is after a couple of years of him not playing drums him getting back into it and whatnot. This is going to be a brand new experience for me. I'm interested to see exactly what he's got going on. I never really watched a whole lot of his gaming content or anything like that. It was just, I, I never really watched a whole lot of gaming content entirely as it is. You know, I always thought Jack Subjekai had some fun stuff that he played. And, you know, the Irish accent always gets you with laughs and stuff like that. But we're going to jump right into it. We're going to take a look and see what this fella's got to offer for some technique that we might be able to glean from him. So why don't we go ahead and check out this cover of Avenged Sevenfold, Holy Unholy Confessions. Listen to me, I can speak English just great today. Before we start, though, I check my YouTube analytics, as any good creator should, and only about 0.7% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel. What are you guys doing with your lives? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We do a lot of fun stuff and a lot of videos just like this on here. We're going to have a lot more fun content coming your way, so stick around. It's going to be a fun, fun journey. Alrighty. Well, without further ado, ladies and gents, let's jump in and take a look at what Jack Septicai has to show us about drumming. Oh, he's got the same tattoo as me. I didn't even notice that. Interesting. That's kind of cool. He's got the same blood board tattoo as I do. Pretty much, is that? No, that's on his right hand. Mine's on my left. Okay, okay. Same spot, though. Okay. Here we go. okay. It looks like he's playing Axis Longboards. Yeah, those are Axis pedals. So first thing I will say, just... If it's been a couple of years since he's played and he's just sitting down just playing this, like this cleanly, that's pretty good. Okay, he's using full leg motion there when he's doing that. He's goofing around a little bit. Stick tricks. I always said this before as just a joke, but stick tricks sound great on a record. They're better done live, but I think it's cool. You know, it's, it's fine. So 
So yeah, that sounds really good. He's very nice and clean with his technique. I will say that. Sorry about the jump cut there. Audio decided to cut out right in the middle of uh, recording. So we're just going to start right here. As I was saying before audio decided to go to crap for a second. His technique is nice and clean. It's very loose. While also staying nice and tight as well. It sounds very nice and clean. It probably would have been very nice and entertaining to see him play live. Just because of how his personality is. He's very, like... Energetic. Mm. His timing is really good, too, actually. Very good. It's just very interesting because you see him and he's just like a YouTuber that, you know, plays video games and stuff. But then you see stuff like this and you're like, okay, you know, he's obviously got more things under his belt than just video games. But yeah, he's doing a lot of full leg motion. Wrist technique. But the whole time, he is very loose. He's not, you know, straining or anything like that. Some of those ghost notes we are not hearing, though. So I don't know whether or not it's just him missing the triggers on the uh, snare drum or whatnot. That is possible. Very excellent job, I will say, on his part. Very good. Very good playthrough. Very accurate as well with his bass drum. Yeah! And then there's his room audio. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it would be pretty cool to see him play drums because I bet you anything, seeing him play drums live would be very entertaining. I will say that for sure. Wow, that was that was really really good. I am very very nicely surprised. Very nicely surprised. Well, let's talk about that, man. That's certainly, like I say, very interesting that he is playing drums and he's most of the time just like a video game YouTuber and stuff like that. You don't really see that a whole lot. Most of the time, people like that, they don't really post about that kind of stuff because it doesn't get a lot of views. But this video is resting at almost 5 million views. And I think it's honestly a, still a testament to show that, you know, it doesn't matter what you do as a job or anything like that. Music just does reach out to people. That's just, that's just a fact. But let's break down his technique, why don't we? So first off, obviously, he's using a lot of of wrist motion. He's just keeping it really nice and loose. He's not really doing anything too crazy. You can tell he's not death gripping the stick by, you know, the lack of muscle strain that's going on in his forearm and all that right here. Because if he was, you'd see a lot of tension built up. You'd see this part is all flexed out and everything like that. But you don't see that. You see it's really nice and loose. 
Roos, listen to me. You see, it's really nice and loose. He's not, you know, death gripping or anything like that. He's just keeping it really nice. And ultimately, when it comes to wrist technique, that is what you want. You don't want to be too, you know, tensed up or tight or anything like that, because ultimately that's going to affect your playing in a negative way. So keeping it loose is essential in order to be actual, you know, actually be able to play for longevity. Now, when it comes to his foot technique, he's using heel up, obviously, but he's uh, using a lot of full leg motion. More than likely, it's because he probably just never really trained to go super fast or anything like that. More than likely, he was playing a lot of stuff like this, like covers or anything like that. He probably wasn't playing a lot of super high speed technical stuff that was out there. You know, I doubt that he's, you know, was playing necrophagist or something like that that's going to require your double base to be like, you know, absolutely insanely blistering fast but either way it was still really nice and clean you can tell just on the video that he's sitting a little bit more forward on his drum thumb which is going to be a little bit more uh more productive when it comes to his uh foot technique and whatnot especially with it being full leg because ultimately your drum thumb placement is going to have an effect on what kind of uh, foot technique you're going to be using especially when it comes for your bass drums but yeah he's using a lot of really high quality equipment here as you can tell and i mean obviously it's because he's got money but also you can tell that he's put in a lot of hours because he's using a direct drive access longboard and that's not something a beginner on drums just picks up and just starts playing. Usually people start out with something like a chain driven pedal and then decide to switch over to something else like a longboard after years of playing and finding out what works and what doesn't. Because as you, you know, as you get older as a player or anything like that, your taste and equipment will change. And ultimately, you can tell that's what happened with him as well, because he still has some of his old drum pedals and stuff like that. But yeah, no, he did an absolutely phenomenal job on that cover. It was very close to the original song. It was very well done. He wasn't, you know, straining too much or anything like that and that's a very good thing. You want to make sure you're keeping nice and loose anytime you're doing anything with uh, covers, with just playing original songs in general, because ultimately playing loose and staying loose is going to keep your longevity up. So yeah, definitely it's it's very cool to see that he was a drummer, you know, in his previous previous ventures in life and whatnot, and I'd like to see more drum covers from him, because I think it's honestly kind of cool. But you know, you never know. We may get those, we may not, but either way, it was still cool to see that, and honestly interesting. It's the first time for me seeing that. It's, it's really cool. Very good technique, my friend. And with all that being being said, y'all, that's going to be the end of this video. So thank you all for tuning in and stopping by. It's been great to have y'all here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and take a look down at the comments. Let me know what you guys thought of Jacksepticeye's playthrough of Avenged Sevenfold. And with all that being said, y'all, don't forget to check out the other videos on my channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So cheers, everyone, and have a great rest of your night.